Broadcast Facilities Company Timeline is using Videosis Broadcast's camera control to deliver coverage of the British Basketball League Championships, which are currently screened on Sky Sports, the league's UK broadcast partner. The championships involve 10 clubs that play three to four games every weekend, from venues all over the UK. To maximize resources, Timeline has devised a remote production solution that reduces outlay on staff and equipment. It is using a Videosis system consisting of three units, an indoor unit based in Ealing, an outdoor unit at the venue and a compact camera receiver mounted on the camera at the venue. Disney CEO Bob Iger said that while the House of Mouse was able to reach 100 million subscribers in a very short space of time, it now has around 150 million, the company lacked the technology to lower customer acquisition and retention costs. He said that the company currently is in the process of creating and developing all of that technology, aiming to emulate Netflix as the gold standard. TV Monaco, the public broadcaster based in the Principality of Monaco, has signed a multi-year agreement with SES to launch and distribute its new HD channel to millions of homes across Europe from Sazes Prime TV neighborhood at 19.2 degrees east. SES will also deliver the new channel to Middle East and North Africa from Monaco Sat 1 at 52 degrees east. The channel is designed to be a global broadcast platform with news and information promoting tourism and innovations in Monaco as well as to showcase Monegas culture. TV Monaco went live on Friday, September 1, 2023. AV Pro Edge has introduced an all-new 24-port, 10-gigabit switch that seamlessly supports wide-ranging AV over IP applications, including AV Pro Edge MXNet, AES67, Dante, SDVoE, and more. Providing hybrid PO++ and PO++ functionality, the ACMXNET 10G SW24C enables reliable, high performance with a slew of features. Broadcast Pix unveiled its latest Robopix 4K lineup consisting of three models, the Robopix 4K 12X, Robopix 4K 25X, and Robopix 4K 35X, each intended to be used for live productions. All the signals along the power are transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. All three models provide 4K Ultra HD image quality and differ mainly in the lens incorporated. Global, the media and entertainment group, has appointed Simon Pitts as the next group chief executive of the company from Q1 2025, replacing Stephen Myron, who announced recently he was stepping down as group chief executive after 16 years at the helm to become Global's chairman. Pitts joins Global from STV, where he has been CEO since 2018. Prior to this he spent 17 years at ITV where he was on the executive board for seven years and held a variety of roles including Director of Strategy and Transformation and Managing Director of Online, Pay TV, Interactive and Technology. Atelier Creative Technologies announced the Ignition, a new breed of media workflow engine that vastly simplifies the complex process of automating key media supply chain processes including title and media ingest, order processing, packaging, transcoding, quality control, packaging, distribution and more. The visual workflow designer acts as an assistant with built-in best practices for automation to realize operational efficiency. Dear colleagues, if you want your news to be included in Briefly, please contact us in the comments. Let's make news together. Dear friends and colleagues, we continue bringing you the latest news of the technologies, solutions and products for the professionals of the media industry. To keep the pace and develop further we need a financing. If you want to support us you can make a donation using a link under this video. Thank you so much in advance.